Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about deaths and what might happen in the final season of Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So before we get into this video, I want to say a thank you, a huge thank you actually to all of you who tuned into the live stream yesterday because you were very supportive, shout out to Gary, to Melissa Benoist herself, to Matthew and everyone else who contributed towards the channel, much appreciated, we're going to continue doing these live streams week by week, I will tell you and I will let you know when the next live stream is going to be via the community tab, or via my videos, or via Twitter and Instagram at the DCTV show to stay up to date. Go check those out. So in today's video we're going to be talking about Supergirl and we'll be going over the likelihood of who potentially may die in season 6 because this is a question about you know everything that is going to be happening in this final season and so we're expecting at least someone to die because we know the stakes are going to be high naturally and the villain slash the threat of the season should be life threatening i.e crisis level threat of what Oliver went through. He literally died at the end of the season. Obviously that doesn't have to happen to Kara. Kara doesn't have to die. However, I think for the final season there has to be kind of a lot of stakes bedded in the story. It can't just be like any old season like, oh yeah, Supergirl defeats his villain, Supergirl goes off victorious. She can't just be defeating, you know, the new Leviathan or the next kind of lower level threat. You need a big threat like Rain who literally nearly killed Supergirl at multiple points. You need someone who can do that and I think that's what we need in this final season and right now the only hint as to who the villains will be, obviously we got Lex still around, we got Lillian, and we got that robot version of Gemma. So those people are around, but we don't suspect that they're going to stay around for very long. They're not going to be the main threat of the season, so who could be the main threat? We got those leaks recently, which suggested the Fatal Five. That may be a thing that might happen. I think if they did anything like that, it would be nearly as threatening as like Rain, and that would be very fitting for the final season. However, we don't know, we haven't had official confirmation yet, so we'll have to wait and see. So basically, to sum it up, there is a lot of reason to assume that Supergirl, any team members, or, you know, the potential villains may actually die in this upcoming season, aka the final season of Supergirl. So now let's go over the theories, who may die in this upcoming season. So, number one, let's talk about Kelly Olsen. So I'm not doing it in chronological order, there is no rankings here, I'm just going through all of the series regular cast members and the people we know that are showing up this season. So first off let's talk about Kelly Olsen, so Kelly was introduced a few seasons ago and the main reason she is around is because she has links to Andrea Rojas with her job at Obsidian, but mainly at the moment it's because of her relationship to Alex Danvers. And whilst Alex is still around and Alex wants to be in that relationship, I don't see Kelly dying at any point very soon. So I would say she's very unlikely to die this season because I feel like she's a character that, yes, she's going to probably get involved in some of the action in this upcoming season. Generally, I don't think they are going to try and kill her off. I think they're going to want her to stick around to be with Alex. So that's my thought on Kelly. Let's move on to William Day. So William nearly died last season a couple of times because he was in the front line and he got exposed, you know, once to do with Lex. And so William is obviously involved in some of the action, but mainly from the journalism point of view. So he, you know, digs into leads and everything like that. And there is the potential of an upcoming kind of romance with Kara. So I think right now William's like kind of in the middle because of his potential relationship to Kara they may actually kill him off and that is like one of the things that will like propel the story to go forwards so at the same time I can see him maybe dying but he maybe will have like an important part next season so maybe he won't die we'll have to wait and see I would say William's in the middle near now Nia is very unlikely to die because she is a fan favourite and I feel like it would be a disservice if they were to kill Nia off over many of these other characters because I think she's a pretty new character. She came in a few seasons ago. She's much beloved 
and I feel like she's got a future in the Arrowverse out there. If they one day do another Supergirl spin-off, I feel like Nia would show up. And if they want any characters from Supergirl to go on any of the other shows, I would say Nia's pretty likely to show up on like Legends or Superman and Lois, along with a few other characters from Supergirl's regular cast. So Nia's technically other half, Brainiac 5, what will happen? I think it's likely that Brainiac will stick around, there is always the opportunity that Brainiac will go back to the future eventually, maybe Nia will join him and become a member of the Legion of Superheroes, I think that is quite likely to happen at the end of the season, considering there is a Legion-esque story, like Jesse Raff has been saying, who plays Brainy, and so I don't know how likely it is, I think he's a bit more likely to die than Nia, because he's a bit less beloved, and I think Nia has more of a bright future in the Arrowverse, however I think as long as those two stick together, I think they'll be okay. Alright, let's move on to Andrea Rojas, so Andrea doesn't have much to do in this upcoming season from what I know, so currently I would say I'm uncertain to her fate because she may just be like sidelined this season, like oh she comes back once every few episodes, she operates Obsidian, she does a few things here and there. But it doesn't seem like she's going to be like fully involved in whatever this story is. We've had no teasers for that, so as of right now, she seems one of the most kind of insignificant characters, and that's a bit of a harsh wording. But she doesn't have much to do right now as far as I can see, so I can't really say if she's going to die or not. Like, I don't know if she's even going to show up that much. Let's move on to Lex Luthor. So Lex is going to show up this season because they didn't finish his storyline, at the end of last season, he was supposed to die, so I would say Lex is one of the most likely characters to die, and although he's not on Team Supergirl, he is a big part of Supergirl for the past two seasons, he's been around consistently. Yeah, he wasn't around for like the first half of last season, but the last half of last season he was a huge character. So after Crisis, he had a big role to play in Supergirl Season 5. And at the end of the season, he was supposed to be killed off, John Cryer confirmed that. So I would say he is really, really likely to be killed off after or during, you know, Lex's plans, whatever he was planning to do with Lillian Luthor. And going on to Lillian Luthor, who was going to be potentially around. The actress was around in Vancouver only for a few days after they started filming, so I presume she filmed some stuff. And I'm presuming she's going to return, we'll have to... You know, wait and see, only time will tell. However, it seems likely that she is very high on the chopping list along with Lex because of their plans and if Lex dies, I feel like she's probably going to die as well or she's going to get away scot-free like she always does. Okay, so Gemma. We have no idea if Gemma's actually going to show up in the season but just the way that they ended her last season with her becoming the robot, I think there's a lot of intrigue in that cliffhanger and I feel like they're going to pay that off. So very likely she's going to die because she's not going to be the main villain next season. I think it would be really, really unlikely if she were to continue throughout the whole season. I would say like first six episodes, maybe she'll be in and she'll get killed off or something like that. I'm not sure what's going to happen with her and I'm not 100% if she's going to show up barely at all. But she might be a bigger part than we're thinking. Let's move on to whoever the main villain is, and that main villain obviously has a high chance because always the villains in some way go away, they're either in prison, they're sent back to where they're from, or they're killed off. Even if our heroes don't intend to actually kill them off because they are superheroes. Whoever that turns out to be, and if it's multiple characters like the Fatal Five, they're obviously very likely to be on the chopping block as well. Let's move on to one of the smaller characters that is Miss Martian, but we know Sharon was on the set filming scenes. So Sharon Lil plays Miss Martian. She was around a little bit at the end of last season. Obviously, they sparked off something with her and Jean. So, I mean, that could be a reason for her to stay alive and for her to stick around a little bit more. It seems unlikely that she's going to be like a major cast member this whole season considering, you know, how little she has showed up over the past few seasons. And yes, yeah, she did show back up, so that's why she's on this list because I know she filmed scenes. But it seems definitely in the books that she may be killed off at some point, obviously, to create drama that is normally the 
primary reason for people getting killed off in shows to sort of lead into other stories or to make other characters feel something you know emotion wise now moving into the big four main characters i would say who have been around for probably the longest time out of all of these characters obviously lily and luther has been around for a while but i mean consistently so let's talk about lena luthor so lena has been around since season two and since then she's been a major cast member normally in big storylines every season however obviously last season her story wasn't the best it kind of dragged on and they never got around to it properly and the story wasn't very good i think we can all acknowledge that but nevertheless she is a major cast member and she's a major character and so there is obviously a likelihood that she could die however she's not normally that involved in terms of the action unless it's to do with lex luthor or it's something that you know they need her technical help for because she's very smart and she has a lot of abilities in terms of things like that so if she gets involved there's obviously a chance that she is closer to the front lines but i'm gonna say pretty unlikely that she's gonna get killed this season let's move on to the top three the main characters who have been around since season one and these are the only characters that have been around since the very start this is john jones alex danvers and cara danvers so how likely are they to be killed off this season let's talk john and alex first so john again been here since the start at the start we thought oh you know he's wait is he hank henshaw or is he martian manhunter is he john jones we had that mystery in season one really great and he's been attacked multiple times but he's been sort of the forefront for leading the deo into you know letting aliens exist in national city peacefully and so naturally with his high ranking position previously as the director of the deo he was under threat constantly and many times he's been attacked john is always on the front line so like Supergirl, he's probably one of the most likely characters in Team Supergirl on the good side, I'm not talking Lex or anyone, to die. Alex? I really highly doubt if they're ever going to kill Alex off because she is such a beloved character, kind of similar with Nia. I don't think they're going to kill her off because Alex has been here since the start, she's always been with Kara, and I think people would absolutely riot if Alex was killed off and I don't think the writers would do that. Let's talk about Kara. So Kara obviously is the number one threat in terms of getting killed because recently due to Supergirl ending with season 6 people have been obviously theorizing that Kara may bite the dust and I think you know there is a chance I've been saying this I said this in my live stream yesterday I think there is three options for how Supergirl will end and one of those options is in fact Kara dying just due to the fact of how comic books work and also how Oliver ended Arrow because Oliver died in comic books there's always storylines where superheroes die and Supergirl died very significantly in the comics because actually Supergirl died in Crisis on Infinite Earths and that was a major thing to happen and obviously I think she's pretty high up because she is the number one threat to the villain like she's the number one opposing force so that can definitely definitely be in the books but out of the three ways that I think Supergirl will end this season I think this is the most unlikely because I just don't see it happening that Kara is going to be killed off I don't think the writers would do that same thing kind of applies to Alex and everyone like that so what do you think about all of this let me know in the comments down below I know that we've talked about this before but I wanted to put together a big list in regards to where I would say that Supergirl characters would die in terms of their likelihood in Supergirl's final season. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all the support on yesterday's live stream and I'll let you guys know when I'm live streaming next, it's going to be a weekly thing like I've said and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.
icy road.